The Canon FD 35mm f2 SSC concave lens is one of, if not the rarest, Canon FD 35mm lens, but there's not really any indications of it being concave on the lens, so it can be kind of tricky to figure out if your lens is concave or if it's just a regular SSC. 35 millimeter f2 lens. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the three easy ways to figure out if your 35 millimeter f2 lens is the concave version. So first of all, the easiest way to find out is if you already have this lens in your hands, and that's of course to look at the front element and see if it's concave. Because the concave in the name is referring to the front element of the lens. So essentially on the concave lens, the very front element of the glass is gonna curve in rather than curving out like normal lenses do. And so this is by far the easiest way to tell if you just kind of feel the front element and just see if it curves inwards like that, then it's definitely a concave lens. If not, then you have just a regular convex lens. Now, if you can't actually hold this lens or you don't personally have it, maybe you're looking online for one or there's a listing on eBay or something like that, there's another easy way to tell if it is the concave version or just the regular convex version. And so of course, it needs to be a 35 millimeter F2 SSC lens. If it doesn't have the red SSC on the front of the lens, then it's just not at all gonna be a concave lens. So once you find the red SSC on the front, it's a 35 millimeter F2 lens with a breech lock mount. The two things you need to look at are the model number and the aperture. So the concave lenses are gonna have a part number under 100,000. So as you can see on the one I have right here, it's 74,601. So just look at that number on the side of the lens and check if that's under 100,000 because any lens that's over 100,000 uh, isn't gonna be a concave lens. But also, if it is under 100,000, it doesn't always mean it's gonna be a concave lens. It's a pretty good indicator. There's also one more thing to check. So last but not least, the aperture ring on the side of the lens will only go up to f16 and it won't go to f22. So if you look at the concave version I have right here, it goes from f2, 2.8, 4, 5.6, 8, 11, and 16. There's no 22 on there. And so that's how you can tell right there is if it goes up to f16, not to f22, and the model number is under 100,000. If both of those happen at the same time, then it's definitely gonna be a concave lens. Now, if it's just one of them, so if it goes up to f22 and it's under 100,000, or if it's over 100,000, but it still doesn't go to f22, it's not gonna be a concave lens. You have to have both those. And so there you go, it's pretty much as simple as that to figure out if your 35 millimeter lens is a concave lens. So definitely congrats if you found one or if you have one. These are some amazing lenses. But anyways, that wraps this video up. Uh, feel free to go down and subscribe. I will be making a video about this lens showing some test footage and test photos. So subscribe if you're into that. And if you wanna see other videos about vintage lenses or budget cameras and stuff like that, go down and hit the subscribe button and like this video. And I'll see you in the next video.